Alright, so we can now see that our brick is finally to version 1.10e. We're in good shape here. Everything is ready to rock and roll. So we can go ahead and disconnect from this device manager. And I'm going to go ahead and close out of here. Okay, so now once we have that, this is the first part, is we have to have that firmware updated in order for make code to work. Um, we can go ahead and get this ready to rock and roll here. Um, so now let's go ahead and try to see how this works. And so once we do that, All right, let's go ahead and jump into this try, just so we can see how the brick and make code works here. Now, if you've used make code before, you understand the power of it in terms of being able not only to use blocks, but also to be able to use JavaScript, which is very, very helpful um, as you're trying to get kids to think about text coding and moving away from blocks. Um, but it's a great starter just to make some things happen. It's also helpful if you're using make code, make code for the arcade or circuit playgrounds or micro bits and you're already using it. They're already familiar with the platform in terms of like how everything works. And so um, what we've got here is we're just going to get a, a quick introduction. This is really simple. It doesn't take a whole lot, but at least we can go ahead and get started. And we're just going to follow this tutorial here um, showing us how to get everything up and running. So... We already have the brick on. I already have the green light. I've powered that up. We've already done the firmware updates. Um, so we're in good shape there. We have to go ahead and connect our brick. I have the USB cable already connected to my device, which is good. And so now what we're going to do is just run a very simple program, just as you can see right here. So we can see everything is color coded. So I'm going to go here to the brick. I'm going to drag this, this on button right here. I'm actually just going to hide this over so we can see the code. Um, we have the show mood, so we know that's also in blue. So I'm going to grab this. I'm going to drag this guy up. Everything clicks just like Lego bricks. If you've used Scratch or Blockly, it's the same kind of interface um, as we get going here. And so um, I'm going to pick this one here. And then we're going to go and just play a sound effect. Um, so let's just go ahead and drag this in here and um, let's say um, I like the good job. All right. So once we, we have all that and you can kind of follow this through, it tells us to download and follow the instructions. So let's go ahead and I can see over here. If I were to run the code, but we're going to go ahead and hit download. And now we have get this code here. And you can see that it operates just like if you've used Microbit or Circuit Plug. And we have to drag our files from one wherever we downloaded it to, to the brick. And so you can see that we have to connect our EV3 to the USB. And we've done that. I know it's hard to see in the video but I have this plugged in to my device. And what I'm going to do then is I have to find the file and drag it over to the EV3. So every device is a little bit different. Here is my file down here in the bottom left. So I'm just going to go here to show in Finder. This works best for me. I can see the file right here highlighted. And then I can see my EV3 brick right here. And so all I'm going to do is just take this and I'm going to drag it as so. And then we saw the, the brick kind of blink, similar to like the micro bit of circuit playground. It kind of flashes when we know we have it ready to roll. And in this case, in order to run it, you can see that it tells us right here, press the center button on the brick to run. And so now if I do this, our brick should run, and it should right there. It lights up and I don't know if you heard that or not. And we're in good shape. So I can use this button right here to 
stop the code to turn it off and then I can use the center button um, I had to download it again but that's what kicks it out so um, once again if I drag that code over to the brick it's gonna flash a little impatient there sorry there we go it flashed and then now I can run it and this is letting me know that the code is currently running right here and then to kick out of the code I just hit this back button and away we go so we know we have communication we know we're in good shape now it's time to move on to some other amazing things such as adding motors and sorts of other programs like this. So I'm not going to run through all these sensors. They all kind of operate the same. You drag these blocks over just like you see here in, in the tutorial guide. You can see that they're all in this different type of project to move. Here's our green for our motors. Here's our sensors for the touch and color. And then we can start to write some pretty amazing code when we get rocking and rolling. So, alright guys, here you go, just the very beginning of how to make sure your EV3 Mindstorms brick is connected to make code. If you have any questions, let me know, and as always, stay awesome.